Welcome at tutorial number 59 of the EEP10 model railway simulator. In previous videos we have frequently been using control circuits to automate a layout or to prevent collisions. And every time the design of such a control system was more or less a challenge or a puzzle. It made me wonder if maybe there could be or would be a way to uh, do a sort of universal control system design, always in the same way, always leading to a result. And in these coming videos, well, let's just have a look how far we can get. When I was investigating a few layouts, it struck me that in the majority of cases, only two types of control circuits are actually needed. And those two types are this one, the random in and the random out control, and they are this one, the single track protection control. The random in control, it uh, has a train coming over here into a situation where it has to select one of the three tracks. So it is a sort of push situation, the train pushes itself into a free track, random selected. The random out control, the train uh, pulls it, uh, the, tra the, the track pulls a train from the depot and it is a random train that is pulled out. And with the single track protection, well obviously we have a train that wants to go from north to south over this track and maybe at the same time this train wants to leave and go from south to north and in the middle they will collide. So we always have to prevent two trains at the same time on a single track. Those two uh, control situations we are going to have a look at and then we are going to build a layout based on those two. Alright, so uh, this video will focus on the random in, random out control system. Let's open up EEP. I already created a nice little layout for us. There is a station or a depot with four tracks. And over here we have a train. I will release it by shift clicking its signal. And this train is going to drive over here and it wants to enter this station. And obviously it has to find a free track. Well, that is all controlled by this one single lane of control with a control mouse on. Let me go to F5 and let me show you in the sensors what is happening there. You see the train is now approaching and the first thing that will happen is it triggers this sensor which says change the direction of the control car. This control car is running over here from right to left. And as you can see, every free track, or every track actually, has three sensors. And the free tracks, there are only two free tracks. The free tracks have a, a signal that is, uh, in this case, a hold signal. And the tracks that have a train on them also have a signal that is a fart signal. That's this track 1, 2, 3, 4, and this is track 1, 2, 3. So, if the control car is running in this direction, nothing happens because the sensors are in the other direction. But right now my train is coming and it will change over here the direction of this control car. It is now running in that direction. And what it does, well, it, it, the first thing it hits is this green sensor, that is a sensor of a junction. But that sensor of a junction that has inside a when and if condition, if the signal 81 is on hold, then it will trigger. And signal 81 is this one. Yes, this is a free track. So if the control car is in the opposite direction, and if this is the first one it comes across, this is a free track. So in that case, it will uh, set this junction to upswike. At the same time, 
if this junction is to abstract, I will show that this junction has a connection with that same signal 81. So immediately, without any delay, which can be dangerous if you have complex circuits, without any delay, immediately the signal of the track is set to occupied. So that is that is important. So what happens is the the control car switches this junction and the junction switches its occupied signal immediately. Next thing that happens is this uh, signal, this red one, this sensor of uh, sensor of a signal, and that it, oh, it's difficult to click it. Well, let me do it over here. That does not matter. A uh, sensor of a signal, maybe you can read it, it is the signal 17 that is going to fart. Well, signal 17 obviously is this one that opens up the gate to enter the station. And then uh, it only does that if, oh, this is always difficult to click on a sensor, it only does that if that switch, that junction was switched to upswing. Uh, so only the track that is uh, available, uh, the switching is going to happen. Well, the third thing that happens is we change the direction of the control car. So this is the theory behind it. Only a few things happen. Uh, we switch a junction, we open up the signal and we change the control car direction again. And we set the track to occupied. And that only happens for a free track. And which track? Well, that depends on coincidence. It's random. This train is going to hit the signal, but we don't know when exactly. Uh, so it all depends on where this control car is at that certain moment in time, which of the free tracks is going to be triggered. And that is why it is random. So let's go back to the simulation. And well, let's have another view at another station. Uh, look at the control car. Yeah, it went backward and it opened up this uh, uh, gate number one and immediately the track is occupied and the control car is going in that direction again. So this is a random in, a sort of push. The train pushes itself in. Now we are going to have a look at the random out situation. Well, we have a second control mouse, but it is standing still. Uh, normally that would of course be running, so let me give it a speed, a slow speed, so that we can see what's happening. The random out control mouse is also running in the wrong direction to trigger any signals. The first thing that needs to happen is that we change the direction of the control car. Well, that is normally done uh, if in, in automatic uh, mode. It's done if a train leaves this track. Uh, you can see here that this signal changes the direction of that control car. But uh, our train left when the car was standing still, so nothing had happened at that moment. I will have to now do that manually, so I will give it a speed of minus 50. Yeah, it went backwards and it randomly selected track two to go. Yeah. So let's have another go around and this train, it will of course automatically uh, uh, halt here at the signal that is now uh, closed. Uh, it will halt here at the signal, but uh, I can already open it up. Over here was our sensor to release a new train. So what we will see is as soon as our train has passed this sensor over here, our random out control car, which is the bottom one, will go backwards. Yeah, almost now. Wait a second. Yeah, now. Yeah, there it goes backward, and it selected this train randomly. And now the train is going. This train is now going to hit this random in control car change sensor. And that means the top control car is going the opposite direction. Uh, yes, almost now. Yes, there it went. And it selected this free track. You see, this is how simple the random in, uh, random out uh, control works. All you need actually is a straight track with uh, signals that say a track is free or a train is on it and an input or an output uh, range of 
sensors. The uh, layout is uh, available for download in the text that goes with this video as well as a Word document with a description. So I hope that all is clear. Uh, well, can we use this? Is of course a very simple example. The question is, can we use that for a more complex layout? Yes, we can. I will open up a little bit more complex layout that has the same four track uh, depot but it also has now a two track station and uh, well what will happen is this train is selecting a random input that is with this mouse yes there it goes uh, as soon as it is over here it will trigger a uh, uh, an output of this one. I am controlling that with this mouse. But there is a 10 second delay uh, just for fun so that we can also see that this train is neatly waiting and going to this random in. Well, it's not so much random if there's only one free track, but it's just to see that you can fully automate a, uh, a, uh, a a layout with only one type of control, the random in and random out control. And well, this is running fully automatic, uh, but since all the trains are running in the same direction, we do not need any single track protection for this. But it is of course becoming a little bit more interesting if we would have a few trains running in the opposite direction then we obviously would have the same circuits for random in and random out but we need to add something we need to add a single track protection so let's have a look in the next video uh, to that single track protection thank you for watching and see you back in the next video